join me and let's create this hairy torus knot tutorial in blender select the key press x on the keyboard delete it select add or click on add select mesh go down and look for torus objects and let's look for torus knot okay so this is what you get right here let me quickly activate my shortcut keys so after creating your torus knot when you click on this add torus knot button you will see a pop-up menu first we have resolution and the second we have knot type so the resolution that we are looking at right now is set to 80. when you increase the number to any number that you like you can see that the segment is changing in numbers let's stick to our 80 which is by default when you are done we have not type so this one is the first one and guys this is the second knot type the third one is this particular one okay so that is it for the knot types i'll choose the first knot type which is this particular one right over here okay when you are done select any space on your workspace select the torus click on add modifiers select subdivision surface after selecting subdivision surface you can see that the torus is a little bit smoother make sure you increase the levels to two so as you can see it's a little bit smoother than before okay when you are done with that don't deselect your torus or your object select it and right click on it click on shade smooth and check the auto smooth after that you can see that our torus is smoother right now what we will do next is to add hair particles to our torus one select the torus go to the particle properties or select the particle properties click on it let's create a new particle system after creating a new particle system make sure you select hair so this is by default so make sure under the emission you change the number to 20,000 and click enter okay so that is it for the emission under the hair length make sure you set it to 0 0.42 we limited our hair to this very length under the children make sure you click on simple maintain the numbers right under the simple and make sure you scroll up and click on the advanced button after clicking on the advanced button look for fixes click on the fixes under the fixes we have mass locate the mass and change the number of mass to 1.412 and click on enter so after that you can see that our mass particle is a little bit okay right now after setting the mass locate forces select brownian and change the brownian figure to 0.0, .0 seven zero and click on enter so as you can see the brownian added this hairy 
texture to our torus. So that is it for the particle system. Okay.